Texas A&M Aggies, but it was not to be. Florida State wins, and Texas A&M wins their first ever NCAA outdoor men's crown and track and field. Pat Henry has done it again. The only man ever to lead teams to both men's and women's championships at the same outdoor meet. He did it with LSU back to back at 89 and 90. And now in 2009, history has repeated itself. <laughs> Texas A&M women already crowned, and now the men join them. How do you feel, Coach? Can't feel any better than what I feel right now. This is a big time win for our program. What an We're accomplishment for Texas A&M track and field. Well, Let, let's go back now, second leg. We're talking about the second leg here, and we are coming around the turn, getting ready to cut in. On the outside, right there, is Texas A&M. And not moving that well, of course, that's Kevin Borley, who's still mad about that 400 meters. And he goes straight to the front. And right here, it looks like Texas A&M is a little bit out of it. But I will tell you what, coming home, Ryan Miller, here he comes, in the back of the pack. Brian Miller swings wide off of that last turn, and he puts Texas A&M back in the race. What an outstanding leg for Miller for Texas A&M. Look at him eating up real estate, eating up real estate on that home stretch, and this really changed the race for Texas A&M. And the anchor for A&M, Justin Oliver. And Justin Oliver had to know, don't worry about trying to get first and blow the whole team competition. The Borley national champion in the 400, Kemp, uh, Jonathan, was already out there. His job was to hold off Englehart Summers of Baylor. He did that and secured the title for the Aggies of A&M. Howell, Miller, Dykhuizen, and Oliver. The four that got it done for Texas A&M. Aggies are the national champions. Texas A&M clinches it with their performance in the men's 4x4. Four four. It came down to the final part of the meet, and Texas A&M has done it. Let's go downstairs to Dwight. 
All right, Ian, I'm going to talk to the anchor because he got to watch the whole race unfold. Certainly you knew what you needed to do, what your team needed to do. Florida State was out there. What, did they act like a rabbit for you? And you knew you just, if I just second, that's all we need. I mean, honestly, you know, you're trying to win. I'm trying to win for my teammates. So, I mean, when I saw where he was, I knew Quinn was right there from Baylor. I, I just did nothing but hard. Just trying to do it for my team. That's all it was. Was there any concern on your part that if you did push it too hard and try to win it, that you could tie up and blow the whole thing? I mean, that's the thing with, with the beauty of the track. You know, you go out there, you give it all you have. You hope for the best, you know. If I tightened up, I tightened up. But I was going to get everything I had to it. <laughs> Coach Pat Henry, who pulled this off at uh, at LSU, great to see you again, Coach. You, the Dwight. same exact formula they had at LSU. It's sprints, it's hurdles, it's jumps. It never seems to fail. In your short tenure at Texas A&M, you pull off the double, both well, men's and women's, but you came from behind to do it. Great drama. I, I, I you know, the mile relay guys here and, and the, all the way across the board, we are just extremely pleased, Dwight. It's a, it's a big, big win for us. and. Uh, uh, I can't say any more than that, Dwight. Uh, we're, we're, we're ecstatic about the win. A&M is such a great place to be. They're supporting us very well. We're uh, Bill Byrne, my AD. Uh, big time, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, great facilities there, too, with the, the indoor championships. But in such a short period of time, how are you able to sell the program to so many good kids and get this kind of a championship so quickly? Well, you know, you've said my name, but my, it's my staff. My staff is uh, Vince Anderson and... and, and uh, uh, Jim Van Ottegen and, and Juan De La Garza and and, Fran, and Lean Francique and uh, Dan Waters. Those guys work so hard, and and it pays off on days like today. And I can't say enough about my staff. That's what it is. I have some great coaches, and they work very hard. How about the ladies? Who are the way they really did? They played a great bit part, fourths and fifths here and there. And of course, that fantastic four by one relay. Yeah, you know, it's just. Uh, uh, that was a group that we had at LSU that ran 42-50, uh, and that's a tremendous run. But this group is uh, is pretty outstanding, and they're all underclassmen, Dwight. And we, we're going to plug another one in next year, I guarantee you. Is it too early to be talking Dynasty, Pat? Never. No, I don't want to talk about that at all. Don't ever talk about that. <laughs> but our, our men, actually our men 4 by one you know, we still have the best time to run this year. We just couldn't get that last exchange yesterday. Might have made this a little bit easier today, but it's not easy. This right. was a big win. Great. Congratulations, Coach, on a double win, double NCAA championships for Texas A&M. All right, Dwight, thank you very much. Celebration time for Texas A&M, the men and the women winning national championships. Florida State took the 4 by 4 Texas A&M took the national title. We'll come back and wrap things up here at Fayetteville after this. It is an Aggie double here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The women's team standings, Texas A&M wins the national championship with 50 points. Otto Carroll, tremendous performance by Texas A&M on the women's side. When Pat Henry left LSU and went to Texas A&M, I wondered how long it would take him. It has not taken him long, I Gabby Mayo, Portia Lucas, they were out here to perform three events apiece, and they did it. And for the men, came down to the final event. Texas A&M edges out Oregon, Florida, and Florida State for their first ever men's outdoor crown.